WD-40 could be all you need during the zombie apocalypse. I always thought it was duct tape. I am the one and only Chris Top. He is Chris Top, bitch. It's more hip than you might think to be a dork, kiddies. Let's take a gander at little emo Timmy. Just take a look at those arms. I don't think little emo Timmy should be allowed to play with any sharp objects for the rest of his life. How about you? Billy the Jock is riddled with herpes because of all those naughty cheerleaders. How do those pom-poms look now, kids? I think Bobby the Geek is going to live in his mom's basement for the rest of his life. I'll bet you he'll have a nice collection of tourists in his fridge by the time he's 30. Be a dork, be proud, be hip. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either tap in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. <laughs> you can either tap in the Chris Top program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy R and the Diddy did the was and that of that class back in 1970. We didn't know about the world wide web was a whole different game Been played back when I was a kid Wanna get down in a cool way Picture yourself on a beautiful day Big bell bottoms in cool long hair Just walking in style with a party full and You can listen to the music on the Chris Is the Chris Top program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you doing, world? Notice I said our lavish studio apartment. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I won't be able to say that much longer, I don't think. What? Oh, uh, yeah? Lavish, no, you say that. <laughs> uh, lavish studio apartment. That's right. Because we might be getting a house soon. Like a bow. Yeah, we're looking at uh, possibly sometime in June or July. Which, uh, we could... I just hate changing that, though. Because I, 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 if I try to change it, I know I'm going to mess it up. Change what? Lavish studio apartment. Oh, so what, what are you going to have to say, then? I could just say lavish studio or you could just keep going with the fact that it's a lavish studio apartment, even though it'll be a lavish studio house. House. Well, it's a. I could just say broadcasting live from our lavish studio. I could just say that. In sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, yeah. with an ocean. Say what? It, it's cool because it's a it's a three bedroom house, which is a lot bigger than what we really need. Uh, but but I had the brilliant idea of well, I was going to turn one of the bedrooms into a studio anyway. But then I thought, well, it's got another bedroom right beside it. So we could cut a hole in the wall. I'll let you do that. Nope. And then we're going to put a glass in it so it's sort of like a listening room. And then you can sort of watch what's going on if you're not part of the show. So that's kind of cool, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's like what's up? Yeah. That's how cool it is. Yeah, and it could kind of double as a, like, you know, if my kids want to come over, they can, you know, have a place to sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that way I'm not totally just shunning them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I'm excited about it. We've got a lot to, I guess, prepare for and a lot to do. I don't want to procrastinate. I want to, like, start packing, like, in the next couple weeks. Let's do it to it like Pruitt used to do it to it. I don't even know. Who is Pruitt? All right, so there's this song. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's like, it's either Convoy or All Around the World with the Rubber Ducky. It's one of those trucker songs. A trucker song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I thought Pruitt was somebody, like... Like, famous. I bet he is famous. I don't get the reference, if it's even a reference. But it's in a song, the guy is saying, we're going to do it to it, like Pro used to do it to it. Oh, so, okay, so you're quoting somebody. Yeah. We need to Google Pro it sometime. Yeah, I'll I'll just put, I'll put, I'll I'll do it right now. Okay, Google, like, Pro it used to do it, because you say that all the time. I'll do it. I've even caught myself saying it, and I don't even know who it is. All right. I do want to say, while you're Googling, I want to say hi to JP that's in the chat. Uh, he says that he missed us, and um, he's I, I think he's super excited. I don't exactly know what's going on in his house because he just said, yes, yes, yes. I don't know 
I'm not going to touch that because I'm not sure what he's up to. But we've got some things to talk about today, which is a good thing because this is a, a talk show. Uh, we're going to talk about WD-40. There's some things that you can use WD-40 for that I had no idea. Um, and then I've got a really touching story about a, a mom who um, actually had some family photos made. And there's something that's really cool about that. And and if, you, if, you, if you're too curious and you can't wait, then I actually tweeted that out a couple of hours ago. So you can check that out. And it's got the picture and everything. Uh, but it's really cool. South Africa recently uh, opened up their nude beaches. So we'll discuss that as well. And I came across something that I thought was kind of cool because a lot of times people will tell you, and we even did an ad kind of like this. We may play it. I don't know. But um, a lot of times you, you may have an idea or you may come up with something and people just shoot it down and shoot it down and say it's never going to work. Well, there are a lot of famous inventions that actually – uh, got a lot of bad press in the beginning. And I think you'll find it interesting uh, when we talk about some of those. I thought that was kind of cool. And reasons to appreciate McDonald's. Ooh. Yeah, so, and this is from a chef. This is from somebody that knows. So, I mean, even McDonald's has its place. And obviously it does because it's like you know, the, the, the biggest grossing fast food chain there is. Okay, who's Pruitt? Uh, I found that it's a, it says, although it refers to character Pruitt Sonny, the character played by actor Claude Atkins on the television show Moving On, 1974, NBC. I don't remember that. The phrase is close found to C.W. McCall's trucker song entitled Round the World with Rubber Duck. And it says, ah, 10-4 pig pen, what's your 20, Australia? Mercy six, ain't nothing down here but Tennessee and De- wait, Tasmanian devils and then Q Alabama bears. What's that? No doubt, Nickel. Okay, okay, just stop. <laughs> I still don't know who Pruitt is. And at the end, it says we're gonna do it to it like Pruitt used to do it to it. Yeah, we, but but yeah. who is Pruitt? It's I, I, it's just what he says on the song. I think they just they they referenced a guy from a. TV I think show. Pruitt just rhymes with do it, so he just made it up. Well, now I use it too. So thank you, C. W. McCall, for the wonderful <sighs> childhood that you. I would like me. to know who Pruitt is. It, That's all. They just. Said I don't mind you saying it. They, I just want to know who it they is. They just said it referenced a TV show, and the guy took it and he put it in a song. I hope Kevin listens to this show fast because he'll have an answer. <laughs> I just gave you a freaking answer. Kevin always corrects us, and he always has answers for things we know. Because so many times during the show, I'm like, uh, uh, I don't know, and then Kevin like corrects me immediately. Well, I say immediately, but he does as soon as he listens to the show. It could be three or four days from now. But then he'll he'll listen and he'll he'll let us know who Pro it is. I hope. Kevin's smart. Is he who, who's that one guy off of Big Bang Theory? Kevin is a rocket scientist. Who's that guy off of Big Bang Theory? The which they're all smart. Well the one guy that's like really, really smart. The they're all really, really smart. I don't know. I, I don't know then. <laughs> I forget his name. Somebody in the chat will know. <laughs> Kevin, will, Kevin will answer that too. So he's like that guy, kind of. Yeah. It, well, with his smarts. Yeah, he's pretty smart. I do want to say hey to Magnolia Emporium that's over in the uh, Spreaker chat. You guys should jump over to the ChrisTopProgram.com. Boom. Because I just, I just happened to notice this, and it's good to see you. It's good to see Hellraiser Radio as well. Well, hey there. Um, there he's talking about booking a trip. I'm not sh- exactly sure... Book what it. did we talk about a trip? I don't think we did. Maybe he's tripping. Maybe he is tripping. I don't know. And Magnolia Emporium's all about a nude beach. <laughs> do <laughs> I, we have those in America? Don't we? See, I don't even know. America. I think we do have those. I think so. Yeah, I wouldn't go to one though. Let's all go right now. I, I just I I would I'd feel violated. Would you Would you do it with them or would you? If, if it's would I do what with them? <laughs> yes. Do I need to wear protection? <laughs> That's not what I meant, but you know. Okay, I've got to pick on you for a second. Oh, no. Okay, yesterday, as I was getting ready to leave, it was in the morning, and I always say, like, you know, cute little things to you in the morning. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Or I try. (laughs) They're usually failed attempts. So I come out of the bathroom. I'm in the shower the whole time thinking about, well, if Allie was a monster, what would some cute monster names be? So I come out, and I get ready to lay them all on you. Uh See, this is the stuff I think about. (laughs) You know, so at least you know I was thinking about you. Yeah, that's sweet. So I come out and I said, you know, if you were a monster, you'd be pretty Zilla. And you just rolled your eyes at me. <laughs> I'm like, what? I thought that was good. And then I said, okay, how about Gorgeous Stein? You were like, just stop. <laughs> just stop now. And then I saved this one for last because I thought this was the best one. I go, oh, yeah, how about 
hotness monster, and you didn't even respond. I don't think I heard you or didn't like remember it. But I, you, I still you totally remember. shot me down. And I started my day like that. My, my girlfriend just shoots me down. And then when I was at work, I thought, I thought about Count Hot Chocula. I thought that was kind of cool. I like that one. Yeah. And I, I mean, I ended up liking, like, the more I saw this and the more I thought about it, the more I realized how sweet it actually was. I mean, do, do you really like them or is it just, or did I just convince you to like no, them? No, I actually, Are you just humoring me? No, I'm not humoring you. I actually okay. really like them. I think, it, I think it's sweet, so... Yeah, I will publicly apologize to Chris Top right now. <laughs> I'm like, sorry that I shot you down because those are pretty badass names. Yeah, so if any of you, any of you guys out there, ever want to call your girlfriend a monster and get away with it, just call her Gorgeous Stein or Count Hot Chocula. You can call me those names anytime yeah. you want, baby. You get an extra bonus point if your girlfriend's black and you call her <laughs> Count Hot Chocula because it actually makes more sense. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it does make more sense. Yeah, but anyway, but we'll still use it, right? I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, Hellraiser Radio is going to the nude beach. I guess you'll see Magnolia there. Ooh. Yeah. There'll be a reunion. JP may end up there as well. Uh -oh. Well, if you guys, uh, okay, I'll tell you what. All right, look, watch my Twitter. I'm going to tweet the pictures uh, from the nude beach. Now, once you, see, <laughs> once you see the pictures, you may not want to go. Uh, because, oh, no. you know, and I, I've seen this in the past. It's like all the people that hang out at the nude beach are the ones that really don't need to be at a nude beach. So I'm going to I'm gonna tweet this out right now. So if you guys will check my Twitter, you may second guess your um, your flying arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, uh, what you'll be seeing. But no, this, um, we're, oh, this is in South Africa. Uh, it's their first official nudist beach. Would you go to a nudist beach? I don't think so. I mean, would you go and just and wear wear your bathing suit and just kind of hang out? I would laugh at everybody there. I no, you can't out. do I that. I would get so kicked out because no, I'd be laughing. No, you cannot naked laugh. People, naked people are funny to me. You just can't do it. They're so funny. All right, what if they're... Okay, now, in, in the real world, they don't all look like um, models. But, I mean, if you were on a nude beach and they were all like, you know, chiseled, six-pack abs and perfect bodies, I mean, would you laugh then? Hell yeah. No, you wouldn't. I would. Naked, you would not. Naked people are hilarious to Naked me. people are funny. But, you know, <laughs> I naked. I can see, though. I mean, if you've, if you've got the ca the kahunas, kahunas, kahunas to do that, I mean, I, I can see how it may feel a little bit empowering. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, but I just... If I don't, everybody's there naked, then nothing... nothing really I mean, these happens. are all old, wrinkly people. That's and they're just, they're just hanging out like they would be just on a normal day. And they're fat, too. And they've got their caps on and just, I mean, I don't know. And one guy, I think he's talking on the phone. Hey, I'm on a nudist beach right now. I don't know. Anyway, a hundred natu naturist. Uh, naturist. <laughs> they all went to the nude beach on Saturday in South Africa. And it's South Africa's first official nudist beach. And a lot of the locals, they, uh, they objected, I guess. Uh, but it's, it's like a 500-yard stretch where you can just be naked. That's that's five football fields. That's a pretty good piece of beach. Yeah. Yeah. I just I think I would just feel uncomfortable. You would just feel awkward. <laughs> it would just I don't I don't think I could uh they they said they got congratulations from all over the world. <laughs> Congrats. Um, you were naked today. There was something I wanted to to share with everybody I thought was kind of funny. Because they're they're planning on having some some events. Oh, games, yeah. Yeah, they're going to have some games <laughs> at the nudist speech. Now, see, that would make me laugh. Like, naked people playing games. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so, so all right. So, they said that they pl they've planned activities that are coming up during the Easter weekend, which I guess is now. So they're, um, so they're playing these games during a holy weekend. Right. Well, I, I mean, it. you know, we started out naked. We start, we, you know, we start out naked. That's, so, I mean, I don't really see, true. I don't necessarily see anything unholy about it. <laughs> that's so true. I mean, you can lust after somebody with clothes on. That's so true. So, that's very anyway, true. I don't really care. I mean, if there was a nude beach in my backyard, I wouldn't care, I don't think. <laughs> I'd probably be a creeper. I'd like look through my window and just giggle. Bruh. I'd be like, hee hee. <laughs> Although I would too, so I'd, I'd be just as bad. I'd probably go out there and laugh. I out. wonder if nudists peek through people's windows and look at them with clothes on. <laughs> I know 100% for a fact that they do. I know that for a they fact. They stand outside of windows naked and they go, oh, oh, look, he's got a tuxedo on. That's hot. Yep. Oh, yeah. What I would do with that guy in that tuxedo. I 
but <laughs> but okay, these are these are the activities.